Allie? Oh, no, she did. Why are you wearing my shirt? I just wore it to school. Oh, really? Then where were you and my shirt today at lunch? I was studying for my French test with Carter in the library. Oh, really? Because I looked for you in the library and you weren't there. We were in the back. Really? Are you sure you weren't up the pier with Griffin? No. You know, you always speak in that very sweet tone when you're lying. I do not! Yeah, you do. How do you even know about that? I have my resources. Look, all I cut was gym class. Big deal. You shouldn't skip any classes, period. Well, not everyone can be as perfect as you. With your perfect grades and your perfect I am not friends. perfect. Is that all you're doing with your delinquent boyfriend? Just skipping classes? No, well, yes. And he's not a delinquent. In your opinion? What do you mean by that? I just don't want to see you end up behind bars. He didn't even spend the night in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you know about that? The only way is if you... No. No, no, no. I what? Please don't tell me you read my diary. What if I did? That goes way over the line. I did it because I was worried about you. You were acting weird and... Did you... No, I can't believe you did that. That's so wrong. You know what? I don't need you to lecture me. You're not mom! Girls, do you need something? No. no. So if you stop yelling, I'm trying to work. I can't believe it. So, are you going to tell mom on me? I'm not sure. I want to know what this is all about first. Look, you wouldn't understand. We're just too different. Try me. I just don't get what you see in him. He listens to me. He cares about what I think. I care what you think. Doesn't seem like it. Of course I do. Give me one example. Just yesterday, I told Mom I had to go to Lily's house for a project, and she drove you to practice instead. It was mandatory. You and Mom decide where we're going for dinner, what movie we're going to see, where we go shopping for clothes. I'm sick and tired of you and Mom ganging up on me. We are not ganging up on you. And if I'm being honest here, I'm sick and tired of you and Dad deciding which weekends we're going to go see him, what we're going to do, what we're going to eat. You purposely chose to meet his new girlfriend without me. What's up with that? Well, Dad's the only one that doesn't gang up on me. Lucky you. <laughs> Why? Are you jealous? What if I am? <coughs> well, now you know what, uh, how I feel about you and Mom. What do you mean? Oh, come on. Mom only pays attention to you. No, she doesn't. Mom goes to every single activity you do. I can't even get her to make my lunch. Dad always calls and texts you. Every time we go to his apartment, you guys waste time watching those stupid cartoons. They're not stupid. You don't, you don't even understand. You were only four when they divorced. You had no idea what was going on. I had to comfort mom all those nights. And now you're the one that's closer to dad. I didn't know you felt that way. Well, I didn't know you felt that way either. Why do you think mom doesn't even like looking at me? I don't know. Maybe it's because you kind of look like Dad. Well, I didn't realize how much pain she was in. Girls, are you doing your homework? No. Are <laughs> you handing your money for the lacrosse tournament? Yes, Mom, I did. Kelly, are you going to Dad this weekend? Um, maybe not. I was thinking of staying home this weekend. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. You guys should go to that music festival in New York on the way. I have plans. Really? With who? We could bring someone. You know what? I don't really want to bring anybody. That's great. You guys should have some time alone. <coughs> Callie, can you call your dad and let him know you're staying home? Yeah. And go to dinner, go shopping, go to the movie. I'll fair. Can you go to the music festival? Sure, honey. Whatever you want. You plan the weekend. I've got, I'm going down to set the food. Be sure it comes down in two minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. You did the right thing. Did you really want her spending the weekend alone? No, I guess not. And? Fine. I'm sorry I read your diary, Colleen. I'll never do it again. Yeah, you won't. <laughs> and? I'm sorry, too. <laughs>